Well, red lights, we all hate getting stuck behind one, but just wait until you hear how much they're actually costing you. First Coast News reporter Eric Alvarez is here now with some surprising numbers. Eric? Yeah, well, here's what people are saying right now on our Twitter poll, where most people think traffic signals cost less than $50,000, and it turns out most people are off by a lot. Brake lights and backups. Making it really congested. Here at Old St. Augustine and Livingston Roads. Sometimes it's really hard to move along. The Jacksonville City Government plans to put up a brand new traffic signal here, but what will it cost? A thousand or two? Nope. I'd say about six thousand. Higher. A lot higher. Four hundred thousand dollars. No, uh, well then maybe we can just deal with the stop sign. <laughs> The plan is getting the green light as the city council voted in favor of the new traffic signal at Tuesday's meeting. The city will put up $210,000 and another $210,000 will come from the developer of the River City Science Academy, which sits on the east corner. Public Works will oversee the construction. But is 420 k unusual? A city spokesperson tells me Public Works won't be available to answer questions until tomorrow. But the Georgia Department of Transportation says a typical traffic signal costs Peach State taxpayers around $150,000. And Washington DOT says families there dish out between 250 and 500 grand. So with the school's contribution, Jacksonville is cruising along the median, even though some neighbors would rather see the city tap the brakes. Traffic signal right there, uh, it would help this area, but not at $400,000. That's a lot of money. Now, I know you're thinking that price tag is hard to believe, but it's all right here in these city documents in black and white. You can see them for yourself at firstcoastnews.com. Eric Alvarez, First Coast News, on your side.